SRO Magazine, your number one source for music and entertainment news and interviews. S-R-O. What's up, SRO Nation? It's been a long day, but we're still going strong here in Apple Valley at the Throwback Metal Fest. Um, this band that I'm about to interview, they were on way early in the day, and they've been here to support all the bands all day. They're War Within, and I'm here with Matt and Jeff from War Within. Um, so guys, why don't you just introduce yourselves and say a little bit about what you guys do in the band. Uh, I'm Matt. I'm the singer in the band. I'm Jeff, and I'm the guitar player. So I was talking to Matt a little bit earlier, uh, Matt, and I said I was outside when you guys started your set, and then I heard you guys open up with a Godsmack cover, and my first reaction was, holy shit, is Godsmack actually playing in there? Because <laughs> you guys were spot on. So um, why why open with the Godsmack songs? Um, I, the, I think uh, I came into this band a little bit later, and I think that actually Jeff, Jeff is pretty much the leader of this band. I think that he picked me uh, primarily because I matched the style of music that they play, that War Within plays, and uh, he was looking at me far beyond, uh, it has nothing to do with me, that's the way that they play, but they, I, I, I came in and accentuated the way that they do their music, and I'm honored to be a part of War Within, and as well I should be. So Jeff, if, since you're the leader of the band, how did you... Uh, pull this band together with the current members. Well, I appreciate what Matt said, but I'm not really the leader. We're, <laughs> we're all, I mean, we're all, we don't really we're, have yeah, a leader, but really have a leader. he's the leader. He's we're, the leader we're, of the band. We're all, we're I know, all but you are, band. I you know, know I mean. but God damn it, let's Thank keep you. it real. <laughs> <laughs> let's keep it real. All You're right, God damn it, I'm the leader of this goddamn band, <laughs> yeah. just so everybody knows. <laughs> but anyways, I, I, I was watching him for a little while. He played in another band, and uh, he had the feel, because we're more of a Godsmack style, and we have... I needed that voice for the stuff that I was writing and he fit the bill and that's exactly what we wanted and Godsmack is definitely a good opener to loosen up the crowd to get ready for our originals so writing the originals um, how much of that comes from influence from Godsmack and from maybe other bands um, where are you pulling all your influences from from your original material well actually actually what it really comes from is just basically metal itself and everything else there is no real influence because yeah. you know I've been doing this for over 30 years and and it's just everything we've ever done and we've lived and the stuff that we've heard we just put it all together that's why our sound is more of a mix between the new stuff and the old stuff yeah. so that's what we're put, trying to pump out and Matt's vocals is perfect for when what I we're doing. When I first came into this band we were, we were covering not just Godsmack we were covering a little bit of Metallica we were covering a little bit of a, Seven even Dust. Creed, yeah, we're doing Seven, Seven Dust, Dust. Creed. a lot of the styles uh, as, cover, as a cover band that matched the way I sang yeah, we were mixing it but good. now that uh, we've been together for about two years we're doing our own originals and it just so happens that it's that's I mean at first War Within was primarily I mean when I got into it anyway it was a cover band yeah we're primarily but we're not band. a cover band anymore we are an original yeah. band that yeah. just so happens to be in those styles yeah and we do the covers to loosen up the crowd to get them ready because you know when you play places n nobody really knows your your originals mm -hmm. So you loosen them up with with the best yeah. covers you can think of, we're, we're and who and who doesn't love Godsmack? Yeah, you know, I uh, I actually I'm a little shocked to hear um, some of the bands you say you covered earlier, because um, me getting into rock music when I was 12, uh, the band that got me into music was Creed, right. and I know saying Creed around the rock world today is a little bit eh, yeah. people give you funny looks, but oh no, but they're a great band, they're a great band, yeah, they're, they're a great, great band. band, and I mean Scott Sapp's a great vocalist, period. I mean I I have a brother-in-law. Uh, James Keller. He's not my brother-in-law, actually, but he's my sister-in-law's brother. <laughs> gotcha. That actually opened for them. Oh my. Um, and over in Weirton, uh, Pennsylvania, about maybe uh, three or four weeks ago. Oh shit. For Scott, Scott Stapp, and he, you know, so yeah, but but uh, it's 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 not so much an influence as it is just uh, that's just the way that we s seem to be going. Nice. So I know you said you're now um, you started as a cover band. You're not really a cover band anymore. You're doing your own original stuff. Um, I I think when I went over to the merch table, I didn't see any any recorded music from you guys. So what are you guys working on? When can we expect to see some music from War Within? Well, we're actually in the studio now. We got four songs. We, two of them are released on Reverb nation right now and uh, one is called the hill and one is called sleepless dreams and uh, we got two more coming out and they're 
pr primarily going to be out within the next month. And then we're going to go back into the studio because we're just going to do an EP right now. And then once we get the rest of the songs completed, then we'll make it the album. And that's, that's primarily our plan. So um, the best way for people to find you right now is looking up your Reverb Nation pretty much, right. yeah? Our Reverb Nation or our, our, our Facebook, which is what's actually War Within Music, or we have uh, War Within, I don't, I don't know what it is, War, War Within at Wix.com. Okay. That's actually our actual page. Okay. But to f really find us is at War Within Music on Facebook. All right, sweet. And I talked a little bit earlier, um, I guess, you guys said during your set you're right down the street. Yeah. Um, so I'm sure you guys know the guys in Cantation and yes. know Martin a little bit. Um, so is it just a matter of talking to them and getting on this bill for this fest, or how did you guys get involved into the Throwback Fest for today? Well, you know, we're, we're actually, we actually play a lot of gigs together, yeah. so they actually threw us that's in there. Cantation. Yeah, that's a Cantation. Cantation has been very, very supportive of us. Yeah. They it's have been like we're supportive very of them. supportive you know, of us. We're, we're, yeah. we're the local band up here and uh, and we follow yeah, and we follow each other also actually uh, even before we uh, recorded our last uh our songs, uh, Martin from Cantation recorded our first demo oh, wow. of Sleepless Dreams. He did. Yeah. He did. And he did a really good job for us. It seems like Martin just does not sleep. He just does everything. He's yeah, I don't, I don't. I think he's a vampire. <laughs> yeah. He might no doubt. be a damn zombie. He's good dude. He's good dude. And uh, we've been we've been hanging out and having a great time with them. And we look forward to playing some more. Well, I mean, everywhere. Hopefully, everywhere. So the set you guys played today. First off, it was a killer set. I, I had never heard of you guys Thank before you. today. Um, one of the songs you played, um, you kind of introed it as about for our servicemen and women. Right. Yeah. I think it was The Hill, if the I'm Hill. not mistaken. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that seems like a really personal song for you guys. So wh why did that song become so personal well, for you guys? It's not only personal because it's about my uncle, but Matt's also a ranger, an ex-ranger. Oh, okay. So, and it's also for him and for every, all the military people out there. Here's yeah. what happened. Jeff, Jeff's uncle was killed in the Korean War November 25th, 1950. He was an he, he was an airborne soldier, one of the, I mean, one of the uh, one of the pioneers. Yeah. I in 1993 became the same, but this is uh, a man that's 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 pioneered the whole art of being airborne, right. jumping out of airplanes. So it was an honor to be able to, uh, we, we wrote that song based off of what he's done before he was even given the Medal right. of Honor. The stories that my dad has and stuff like that, yeah. the letter that he actually got, that, his, that my grandmother actually got yeah. from the military saying what happened. So that he read that and based it off of that, and we we wrote that song and being air you know being a ranger being airborne jumping it it was easy to do it was it was it was easy to picture and uh, I did the best I could to uh, to to make that uh, well rounded for everybody who's ever been involved in something like that and that's what I'm hoping to uh, what we were hoping to uh, accomplish yeah. I know uh, the fans that you guys brought today, um, when you guys announced that song, they, they lost their minds. So it seems like a fan favorite. Right. So, um, And, you know, thank you to your uncle for, you know, his right. service. Yeah, it's and, to, and to everybody else, not just my uncle. Yeah, no doubt. So you guys are here at the Throwback Fest. It's winding down in a couple of hours. Um, is this the only show you're doing in the near future? Are you guys doing some more shows? Or what's kind of... On the horizon for War Within. <laughs> That's kind of funny that you asked that. Yeah, this because we just, we just you know, yeah we just played Vegas at, at Vamped yeah. in Vegas mm -hmm. on Thursday. And then we came here and uh, we woke up this morning to a, to an email from the whiskey oh, in Hollywood. Wow. Whiskey and again, they girl. offered us three three gigs. They want us to play with either Prague or Prong. Prong. Prong was but Prong or or Robert Trujillo's band oh, from Metallica. From Metallica and uh, the other one is uh, Gus G. Yeah, from Gus G from Ozzy or Ozzy. From Slash. Or and whatever. Firewind. They all yeah. have new. They yeah. all have new bands, but yeah. we were at, we were asked. To we were come, asked they to were invited play with to them. come and open for yeah. all those three shows. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's pretty. Cool. It's pretty. It's kind of cool because the whiskey called us. Yeah. And you know, I, yeah. I'm wearing a red hot chili pepper shirt right now. <laughs> and what I do know is if I hope they listen to this, but <laughs> I'm wearing a red hot chili pepper shirt. And my favorite band in the entire world started there. And so it's going to be awesome to stand on that stage and take a picture with my brothers 
on the same stage that my boy. Oh my god, dude! This is, <laughs> I'm like a giddy little girl. I'm gonna play on the same stage that people like the Doors and Fleetwood. Come on, man! The Red Hot Chili. I mean, get, I'm gonna be there. Really? That's not happening. I know. I sound like a little girl. I know, but that's happening. Just so you know, get there, America. Just so you know, that's Matt the singer talking like that. <laughs> get there, LA. It's happening. So Matt's uh, kind of jumping around right now. He's a little excited. Um, Whiskey. <laughs> yeah, no. You, I, when you came out and you were wearing the Red Hot Chili Peppers shirt, and um, he didn't, you know, sound like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, but you know, music can influence can come from anywhere. I guess. That's, that's definitely true, you know, like me, I like all kinds of music as well. You know, I'm, I'm, I play metal, I live metal, but I like everything else. My, my, I'm, I, know, I know metal guitar players really don't say this, but my biggest favorite music is classical music, so. Well, a lot of, yeah, uh, a lot of the heavy metal comes from, you know, classic and blues roots, so if you, if you know that, you can, you can play anything. Well, um, Matt, Jeff, it was awesome. Thank you guys so much for talking to me tonight. Before we, before before we head out, is there anything you'd like to say to your fans that are going to listen to this when it's online? Yeah, just keep following us and keep pu pushing our, our music and look look for us look for us when you come back when we put our album out and let's keep on rocking. <laughs> We're moving. There's a truck about to run us over. Uh, hold up. Just know we're giving it our best. <laughs> Crack, death. All right, well, that was Matt and Jeff from More Within. Um, from myself and everyone else at SRO Magazine, we wish you guys the best of luck. Um, can't wait to see you guys on tour again. Look forward to the music. And this has been Tyler, and I will see you guys in the pit. For more information on all the greatest bands in rock today, and for all your music and entertainment news, you know where to go. Go to SRO. That's SROMAGINC.com. SRO Magazine is sponsored by Kick-Ass Cables, PhDRadio.com, Robert's Guitar, TDLMusicGroup.com. The SRO Audio and Video was done by Carson Drive Studios and SROMagD.com.